It's February 2023 and if you use Nord as your VPN you may have noticed by now that they are having some serious problems such as disconnecting, buffering when you're watching streaming TV shows, movies and live TV, different problems connecting. Well this guide talks about how you can try and reduce the number of problems that are happening at the moment to Nord customers whilst they're still looking into the situation. Now, to be fair, this is not a slating of NordVPN because I've been with Nord now for about four or five years and I've never had problems with this. And obviously, from time to time, everybody does have problems. But for now, this guide is going to show you how you can iron those problems out. If you're watching this as a short then hit that link at the bottom of this to see the full video. If you're watching the full video, then stick around. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, since late January 2023, Nord seemed to be suffering with various problems. Now, I first noticed it when I was trying to watch some streaming TV. It just kept buffering and I was thinking to myself, perhaps it's my provider. I kept doing a speed test and the speed test seemed to come out OK. But then when I got back to streaming again, it just kept buffering or it was just cutting off. So then I tried turning off Nord and switching to another VPN and all was fine. So I left it, thought Nord must be having a bad day. Anyway, the following day, switched back to Nord and lo and behold, all the problems came back again. The stream just kept buffering or stopping. So I went back to the other VPN, my alternative VPN, and all was fine again. Now, I did report this problem to Nord who asked me to direct message them on Twitter. I did notice at the time that so many other people on both Twitter and Reddit were saying the same things. You know, why has it been so slow? Why has it been unreliable? I've also got Nord on my iPad and I noticed at odd times I just couldn't connect and I'd have to disconnect from Nord to be able to view websites or occasionally I'd wake up in the morning and find it would be disconnected itself and I'd have to manually reconnect. Sometimes it would take a good couple of times to reconnect. Now I've noticed generally the UK servers seem to be pretty much okay when it comes to connecting to them. They do generally tend to connect first time but some of the other servers around the world just won't seem to connect at all for me. It just hangs on this connecting with the little arrows spinning round. So what's happening at Nord at the moment? Well, unfortunately, Nord haven't sort of commented on the situation. All they've basically said is a few things to try. And I've actually found that the best way to keep a solid connection, although it's still not 100%, but the best chance you've got of keeping a solid connection is to go into your settings on Nord. Now I'm gonna show you this on a fire stick. So I'm just gonna go down to settings and then across to settings over there and go into that. And first of all, I'm gonna make sure that threat protection light is switched off. Now this does help protect you, but at the moment it's playing up so much that you really should turn it off because it's just going to make the connection much more stable and give you more of a chance of reconnecting. So I'm just going to turn that to disabled or off and then it's going to ask me if I want to reconnect. So yes, I want to reconnect. OK, so make sure that threat protection is off, whether it be the light version or the full version. Go down to protocol and you'll probably find yours is set to recommended. Now, let's just go into that and see what options we've got. Now, on the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube and Android TV, with the options we've got a Nord Lynx, OpenVPN in brackets TCP, OpenVPN in brackets UDP. Now, if you're running an Apple device, you've got an extra set in there. You've got IKE V2. What I would recommend is I would recommend, first of all, trying 
open VPN and in brackets TCP. Now see if that works, see if that improves things. You may well find that you might still get problems, but hopefully not half as many problems as you have been experiencing. Nord Links does seem to be a problem at the moment. Now normally that would be the best one to select because it's the most recent protocol. It's very lightweight compared to the others and generally it's the most efficient, uh, but at the moment they seem to be having problems with this one. The other one to try is OpenVPN UDP. Some people have found that they have had success with OpenVPN UDP. I myself personally have had more success with OpenVPN TCP. So you select the one that you want and it'll ask you to reconnect. So yeah, let it reconnect and just give it a test. And if it doesn't work, then try another protocol. Okay, so that was running through on an Android TV or a Fire TV stick or Fire TV Cube or Fire TV. I'm gonna run through the process of doing this on a Apple device next. So what it is, you open up the app, you go to the head and shoulders at the bottom of the screen, tap that, go to threat protection and make sure that that is turned off. And then what you do is you go to the cog in the top right hand corner of the screen and then go to protocol, tap that and make sure that you've got open VPN in brackets TCP selected. If that doesn't work, then try open VPN UDP. And it might even be worth trying IKE V2, see if that works good for you, but just avoid Nord links. Now, if you're doing this on a Android phone or tablet, then go into the Nord app once again, okay? Tap on the head and shoulders at the bottom of the screen and then tap the cog in the top right hand corner and then scroll up and you should see under tools, threat protection light. Make sure that is switched off. Scroll back up to find protocol, tap protocol and make sure you select open VPN and in brackets TCP, or again, try UDP. And lastly, if you're doing this on a computer, obviously open up the app and then click on the shield on the left hand side. Make sure that threat protection is turned off. Then click on the cog on the left hand side at the bottom of the screen and then click on connection and then click on VPN protocol or the drop down box to the right of VPN protocol, which probably says auto recommended and select open VPN in brackets TCP or try open VPN in brackets UDP and uh, give that a go. And obviously if it asks you to reconnect, then please reconnect whenever it asks you to. So there you go. Hopefully at some point in the near future, Nord will iron out these bugs but for the time being one possible way around it to help not actually solve these problems completely but certainly reduce the amount of problems you're getting is to try using the open VPN protocol and turn the threat protection light off. Please let us know in the comments down below if any of these settings have worked for you. Let us know what settings you've used, what device you're using it on and, uh, and let us know, like I say, if you've had any success or not, if the case may be. Nord are obviously aware of the problems now, so they are working on these problems, but who knows how long it'll be before they fully resolve them. There are a couple of good free VPNs out there you could use in the time being to sort of bridge the gap. Those are Award VPN and Proton VPN seem to be very good VPNs that are free to use at this current time. So if you're completely stuck, then might be worth giving one of those a go. Well, I hope this guide helped you. And if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at CWTech.co.uk. 
liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.